I think it's time we actually get going and we uh, we launch straight into it and have a look at some of the uh, old photos of some of the people in the community. And we'll scroll down and go through them all. Starting off with chat, we have a... Wait, can I zoom in on those? Does that make the photo a little bit bigger, I guess? We do have a younger version of myself. Look we'll like you're off prank patrol on that photo. Rabu, I shit you not, bro. I, I applied for prank patrol when I was younger, man. Dude, fucking 12-year-old me was like... Watching Prank Patrol on TV, I was like, yo, I'm I, I'm applying for this shit. I've got to get myself on it. Dude, I loved Scotty Tweedy, man. I applied too. Yeah, 100%. Dude, Scotty Tweedy was the king, man. He was the absolute legend. And I, I always like, I always saw his long hair and I was just like, how the fuck do I get my hair to go like that and go like that? And never did I realize that the man just put too much wax into his hair. And then that was all, that's all it was. That was the, that was the secret. But yeah, that's the transformation chat. 2010 to 2020. This is 2019 teach, so it's a little bit older. Um, and then Sergeant decided to meme me with this one. Fun fact, virgin in both photos. True, true news. Virgin by choice, gamer by life. Yeah, exactly. All right, we have young Bambi at uh, the age of, what? In 2011, I don't have the age there, but I'm gonna assume he was about 12 years old. I think Bambi's a little bit older than me. So he'd be like a year old, two older than me. So I think that's 13 year old Bams. Drinking a little bit of a sun kiss, very nice. Oh my God. The stylish Bambi, and then in 2019, fucking. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what is this man doing? Well, we have young Raylene. Raylene, how old were you here? What was the, uh, what was your age in this one here? Like 13, Oh, Young Raylene at 13, oh, in 2021. So Raylene, Raylene in 2015. Life's looking ahead, looking up at life. It's been great, it's looking amazing. And then uh, 2020 hits, and then that's her in 2021. All right. Oh my fucking God, Ray. Here we have Rabu when he was uh, three years old. <laughs> and then this is Rabu at 13. <laughs> this is a fire photo for someone that looks four years old. So <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not bad. It's just fucking the, the skull and crossbone all swagged. You've got the caption. The caption is what makes it right. You've got the caption. Alrighty, next we have the lovely Linear. So chat, little bit of a little bit of a background story for Linear. So I was mutual followers on Twitter with Linear when we were both like, I think Linnea, how, how old were you in 2014? I, I, wait, are we the same age? I can't remember. And then like, I think in 2014, which was that year, that's what Linnea looked like that year. I actually like messaged her. I was like, yo, wait, did you message me first Linnea? I can't remember. We have the screenshot somewhere. No, you, okay. So I messaged Linnea and I was like, yo, we've been following each other for ages. Oh, nice name. I'm from Aussie. What about you? So it was definitely, it was definitely me. Anyway, uh, so we have Linear, 2014, at uh, 14 years of age, and then we have Linear in uh, in 2021. What a what a what a glow up, Linear! What an absolute glow up! All right, next we have Matto. So we have Matto here in Vietnam, and then we've also got Matto. So sorry, backstory to this one, real quickly. Um, you were saying that it was cruise ship went to New Zealand. We went to Sydney with family friends and we got a limo hummer for a trip and then we went on a cruise ship. Oh, true. Okay, got you. This one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you, got you. That's really cool though. So 13, 16 and 19 years old. Yeah, right. You lost a lot of weight as well. Good on you, bro. So this is Pi in... Uh, Pi, what year was this? This was uh, 2012. So this is Pi Pager in 2012. <laughs> young Pi. All right, we're well, moving on to Lilla, I think. So young Lilla, 2011. So you got young. I think Lilla. Lilla always said that she did um, modeling when she was quite young as well. So I'm pretty. This seems like a like a modeling sort of photo, like a professional photo. You're nine years old. Okay, got you. And then we have the glow up, the shining Lilla in 2021. Was this this was for the mod apps? Yeah. Everyone's standing Lilla. Look at you go. And then what? This one's like a year ago or something. Yeah. All right. Next along we have young Raylene again. And then we've got the glow up, young Raylene. Glow up Raylene with the stunning eyeshadow. I don't know my makeup terms. Eyeshadow. <laughs> Is it eyeshadow? <laughs> I think. What's it called? Is it eyeshadow? I don't know. It's eyeshadow. Let's go. I got it. Alrighty. Next we have <gasps> Spooky. Young Spooky. Spooky. When was, uh, when was this one? I was 11. Yeah, that haircut kind of fire though. And then we have the, uh, the glow up chat. Spooky at uh, age 11 and then spooky on uh, on Friday nights. Sorry, you didn't have a glob teach. I know, I'm so upset, dude. So upset. What a babe. Which one? <gasps> we have Mia. Young Mia. All right, Mia. And so we've got five-year-old Mia. And then... So... Yeah, there's not much, not much in this photo besides a mirror. I see a mirror and a, and a flare. 
<laughs> that was okay. I know. And then we've got Mia at age. What? What was? How old are you in this one, Mia? Now. So this is Mia now. Uh, we got Hello Kitty Mia at age five, and then we've also got a uh, current edition Mia as well. Alrighty, moving along. We have Vivian, like one or something. Yeah, shit. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. So we've got one week, one year old Vivian there, and then we also have. Okay, so this was last year's Disneyland flex. So which are uh, which? Dis wait, Disneyland or Disney World? Which one is this one, Vivian? I'm a California. Oh, true. Okay, got you. So that's the California one. One thing that I noticed when I was in Disneyland in California was every like. I'm in Australia and we went with a bunch of Australians and none of us bought any merch whatsoever. You go to Disneyland in America, I feel like every single person there, including the children, had like Mickey the Mouse shirt or Star Wars shirt or Marvel shirt or something like that. I'd always see all these couples that have like the Mickey hat, like the Mickey hat and like the mini hat as well. Um, and then we were there and we're just like, wait, do people buy merch at the park and then put it on? If you go to Movie World on the Gold Coast, right? You don't see everyone walking around in a Superman shirt or a Batman shirt. Like, I guess Disney's a little bit different because the Mickey characters are like so iconic. I don't know. It was just something that I noticed when I was in California. All right, 11 year old Ladge with the Brooklyn tee on and the Nike, bro, what the? They look like football boots. Nike shocks. The Nike shock. Dude, they look like the Vaporwaves with like the, the thingos sticking out the bottom. They look like studs. Bro, look at this man's fucking sandals though. Oh, fucking look at it. That, that man does not skip leg day. Look at that. Alrighty, and then we have Ladge. I assume this was 2020, Ladge? Last year? 2018, okay. That was a little bit off, a little bit off. So, Mochi sent her then and now, except she sent them censored and uh, as spoilers on Discord Messenger. Mochi's then is uh, this photo here. <laughs> so we have Mochi and I in last year. I think it was early last year. And then that was the then photo chat. That was the then photo. Who wants to know what the now photo is? <laughs> And then we have the now. Clean, Mochi. Clean. Good. That's that's a great. You've got the fucking gun coming out of the coming out of the pocket. Just like, shit. That's so toxic. Okay, that's kind of toxic, dude. That's kind of toxic. All right. Oh my god, chained. <laughs> My goodness, Jade. The drip, just huge bestie vibes. The glasses as well. For anyone that doesn't know, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll break down the fit for you real quickly. Designer, limited edition Louis Vuitton pink cap. I'd say around $500, $600. We've got the, so this is an old, old, old edition Fendi shirt. It's a bit, it's a bit old school, but it's uh, it's the ben, the old Fendi shirt. I think these go for about twelve hundred dollars. Um, we've got the limited edition Gucci X Puma in the pink edition, the Keeple. We've got the limited edition Louis Vuitton X uh, X Puma Keeple, which is about three thousand dollars. Chat, very, very fucking limited. <laughs> the Versace skirt as well, and uh, to finish it off, we have the the Prada slippers as well. Fit coming to a total of uh, twenty five thousand dollars. Dripping, just dripping. And then we have the Karen. <laughs> we have Jade. And this is a uh, recent photo, I believe, as a uh, motherfucking Karen. The glow down. Yeah, I know, right? Honestly, you were dripping down to the Karen. You, what'd you do, Jade? What happened? What trauma did you go through? What happened? Spotty. Oh, look at young Spotty. Young Spotty in 2014. Another young Spotty in 2014. And we have Spotty right now drinking a coffee out of a Hello Kitty. Very masculine, Spotty. Very masculine. I must say, you're um, you're doing life right, my friend. Doing life right. <laughs> I used to be so blonde, ripped blonde hair. Yeah, I can tell. You can kind of tell, like, in this. Yeah, look, dude. I had the same sort of haircut when I was younger. I love the cupcakes. They're so cute. Look at that. Oh, dude. I love how Spotty's actually gone out of his way. Oh, baby Ray in Perth. Oh, wait, Ray. You went to Australia? How do I not know this? Oh, baby Ray. I think this is a good one to end the night on chat. Who would have thought that? Uh, 15 years later or 10 years later, you would um, be so close to friends in Australia as well. All right, chat. Well, this was actually really fun. I think you guys, did you guys enjoy doing this, um, doing this little experiment going through and, um, but yeah, chat, I had um, a lot of fun doing that. That was really cool. <laughs>